Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. There's a little antique shop on Westnage in Kalamazoo. I don't know the name of it. There's no sign. All I know is five years ago I walked in there and they had a little vice sitting on the floor and I bought it. Well, I was driving down the street and saw that the sign was open and walked up to the door. The door was locked. Uh, seems that the guy just waits for somebody to come to the door and then unlocks the door and in you go. Well, this time he had another vice. What's the odds? This is a Littlestown Hardware and Foundry Company. Littlestown, PA. And this is a very nice little vise. Solid. Has three and five eighths inch jaws. With replaceable jaw faces, but it's been set out and left for rust. Somebody painted it, and I think they painted it with a brush. Because there's paint on this part. That, that implies that it wasn't, wasn't masked off. And they've painted the bar in various places. I think the original color was black because there's black inside the jaws. But it's a nicely made vise. And I'm going to disassemble it. has one little problem. This is supposed to lock the vise so that it doesn't rotate. But this has been removed and put back together again not in time. There's timing on this bar that makes it so that as you turn it just enough it locks. And right now I've got to take the bolt out. That bolt is captured inside the frame here and it, it can't be turned to get the handle off until I remove this bolt. So I'm going to lock the small vise and the big vise so I can get a good grip on it. Take this three quarter inch wrench and remove this bolt. Now I can spin this. in this way. You can also go this way. Take it down to the point where now it locks. I can just put the bolt in but I want to take it apart and clean it 
So I'm going to go ahead and take that bolt out. Now, once the head is up above that ring there, I can take it out. Now the thread's good. I was a little concerned that the thread was stripped, but it's not. It's good. It was just out of time. And when they make these vices, they, they're supposed to grind this off flat so that it rides flat on this, but they never do. So the, the base is always wobbly. So I'm going to take a grinder and I'm going to, well, the belt sander, and I'm going to sand that off flat. I'm going to use the big belt sander out in the garage for that. Take the beam out. It's a little rusty, but I think some wire brushing will clean that up just nicely. Might use the Craftsman disc sander because that'll do a better job of, of striking that off flat. I won't have to spend so much time trying to hold it straight. The disc sander will cut it just the way I want it. This one was badly damaged. I imagine somebody had something in the vice jaws and cranked it around and bent that over. I like these vice jaws. And I especially like how they've managed to attach the screw in there with this bushing, with this, with this washer up against the face. It allows it to run the vice jaws back and pull on the the it pulls on the cotter key instead of a nut or some flimsier device. Vice jaws just a little bit loose. One nice thing about this beam is it's straight. That means the vise hasn't been cranked on too heavily to the point where it bent the bar. I get quite a few of them like that and I have to put them in the hydraulic press and straighten out that bar. So I have a couple of jobs to do. I have to flatten this off. Flatten this. I have to wire brush the threads and the bar on this uh, draw bar. You thread that in and it locks up everything.
the threads in this vise are actually part of the casting. Sometimes it's a, a separate piece and that can come loose, but with it being part of the casting, it's not replaceable. So if you ever screw this casting up, the vise is toast. I'm going to put some 50-50 on these screws so that they can have a little time to sit and percolate. For any of you interested in knowing, 50-50 is a mix of half acetone and half automatic transmission fluid. The acetone thins out the automatic transmission fluid and carries it into the joint so that it will penetrate and free up the joint. Whether it's a screw or a shaft or anything else, that works nearly every time. big secret is you got to give it time to work. While these two pieces are sitting here, I will go out and spread some grass. Well, that's what we did for today. Got some time to wait on things. And then I got some work to do out in the garage. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.